Hello and welcome to episode 36 of Dorky's Entropia Universe Report. I lost way too much time to Europa Universalis 4 lately. It has gotten to a point where I decided to just stop playing that game for few days or weeks. However, let me share a little story before I start trying to forget about the game. It was shortly before the end of the first decade of 17th century, when the powerful Dorcaho Empire finished securing the North and Central Americas against the threat of the bearded ones. The time has come to venture forth and claim the newly discovered lands on the other side of the Pacific. Japan, in particular, looked like a juicy motherfucker of a target. Fairly rich, isolated and lagging far behind on military tech. Drums of war sounded and 69,000 braves stormed the beaches supported by the Grand Fleet of 83 warships. It was a great victory for Dorcaho, except the whole motherfucking Grand Fleet got wiped by 17 Japanese ships. Turns out, the game does not upgrade the old ships as the technology moves along. There is no option for doing it manually that I could find, and land units do get upgraded as soon as you change the unit time to the newly discovered one in the military tab. So I assumed the game does that automatically for ships. But nope, I learned it the hard way by going from number one naval power to we has no boat seas. Anyway, let's get to the Entropia stuff now. While I did not have the time to play Entropia Universe all that much, I did manage to get few hours in over the week, as well as AFK craft most days and nights of the week. My total skill went up by only about 200 to 300 points, however this was mostly due to crafting skill gains slowing down for me a lot, as well as devoting most of my playtime to unamped mining, which skills up slower than a dead snail at my levels. I wanted to mine up all I needed for a few clicks on level 3 mining amps. I had enough metal residue for two of them and I made them for my own use. However, I will not go into details on that here, as I recorded an entire video on that topic. It is almost ready. All it needs before I can publish it is some more editing of the video footage. It should be done sometime within next few days. Right now I am working on getting enough materials for few clicks on the TerraAmp 5 blueprint. The footage from one of my unamped mining trips to gather materials for that craft is playing in the background. I looted the Resonation Amplifier 4 limited blueprint a while ago. It has 17 clicks on it. That should be enough to make enough Resonation Amplifiers for at least one success on TerraAmp 5. By the way, I do not expect this venture to be profitable for me. I just want to make a video about it. So I need to do it. Anyway, this one will take a while to get done, I think. I already crafted the first batch of poly alloy straps and should get mats for the Resonation Amp 4 craft today as well as some more materials for the Terra Amp 5 craft itself. However, this particular blueprint needs like 60 plus bed of materials. Getting enough stuff for at least 10 clicks through unamped mining will probably take a while. With 10 clicks in the bank, I should be able to get at least one success. Of course, if that success comes on the first click or two, I will just stash the remaining materials for another time when I have enough residue to make a full TT Terra Amp 5. Anyway, on the investment side of things, Arcadia Mundits continued strong this week. They paid out three times between the Monday the 27th of January 2020 and Monday the 3rd of February 2020. Each of the payouts was for one pack per deed. Arcadia Underground deeds did about the same as the last week. There were four payouts, one of which was two pack per deed. The remaining three payouts were one pack each. Crystal Palace shares finally returned to form with a payout of four pack per share or thereabouts. 
my two shares paid 8 peg between them. The number of shares available for purchase on the market seemed rather low this morning. There were only 3501 shares up for sale at the time when I took the footage for this video. That was around 8 am in game time. Anyway, the cheapest stack of shares on the market was priced at 18 ped 78 pack. To conclude, Europa Universalis 4 is way too addicting. So it is time to play some more Entropia Universe and other games. By the way, do you find it funny that both games name can be abbreviated to EU? Anyway, I hope my venture to make a single Terra Amp 5 for my own use does not end in a complete disaster. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. Thank you.